Toyoyo. Toyoyo, yo, yo. It's hot, all right. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage, and we're here today with another episode of What Wheels Fit, where we go over all different types of wheel, tire, and suspension setups for different vehicles to help you out in your journey to find a new setup for your car. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries, and today we are going to be covering a car that for some reason has just been, like, recommended quite a bit or requested quite a bit, and that is the Toyota Camry. Before we go ahead and get right into it, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the new series that we have right here on Fitment Industries Garage channel. And of course, once you're done with this video, don't forget the drill. Check out fitmentindustries.com for all your wheels, tires, and suspension. We got a ton of stuff over there, especially for Toyota Camrys. We are gonna be covering the seventh generation of the Toyota Camry today. As we see, it is one of the more popular generations of the car, especially in the Fitment Industries gallery. If you'd like us to cover some of the other generations, please drop that down in the comments below so we know, and then we can know what to dive into next. So what we're gonna do is dive into some different wheel, tire, and suspension setups for the seventh generation Camry and break them into a few different categories. The first category that we're gonna go over is what we like to call a good daily driving setup. So this is gonna be something for those who want to change up the look of their car, but don't want anything too aggressive or low that would require any additional modifications for the wheels to fit. So that would be things like fender rolling, any other like aftermarket suspension pieces or anything like that. So to start off the day, we have this 2017 Camry with some NKTY 5s. And this is a size of 18 by eight and a half plus 35. Now these are wrapped in some Bridgestone tires, 225, 45. And then the car itself is sitting on some BC racing coilovers. So as you can see, you get lowered look with a nearly flush fitment that does not cause any rubbing issues whatsoever. 19 inch wheels are also a pretty popular choice for these cars as they are a bit of a bigger body style car and they do accept some larger diameter wheels. For example, this 2016 with some TSW Bathurst, 19 by eight plus 35 with some Goodyear all seasons. Now this is a 235.40 for the tire size and then suspension for the car is actually sitting on some Eibach lowering springs. Again, no rubbing issues at all with this setup and no fender rolling or anything required. And then to close out this first category of cars, we're gonna take a look at this 2014 with some niche gamma wheels, 19 by eight and a half plus 35 with some Achilles tires, 225, 40 again, and then sitting on some BC racing coilovers. So if you're looking for something to change up the look of your car, but don't wanna risk, you know, taking away the daily drivability of it, you're probably gonna to want to look at something around an 18 to 19 inch for the diameter, an eight to eight and a half inch for the width, and then right around that plus 35 offset. You can probably go for the plus 40. I would just make sure that you're gonna clear everything on the inside of the car, like suspension, pieces, brakes, all that kind of stuff. Moving into our second category of cars, this is where we see the fitments start to get a little bit tighter and the cars start to get a little bit lower. Some of these cars will have their fenders rolled or pulled to get the wheels to fit so that they don't rub. First up, we have a 2017 with some ESR SRL1s, 19 by eight and a half plus 30 offset, which brings these wheels just a little further out compared to the last few cars. Wrapped in some 235-35 Federal tires and sitting on some BC racing coilovers, still no fender rolling or rubbing issues with this setup and is still able to get away with a good flush fitment. Next up, we have a 2013 with some ESR CS15s, 18 by nine and a half plus 35 with some Achilles ATR Sport tires, 225-35 for the size, and then lowered on some D2 racing coilovers. Coilovers. Now, fenders are rolled on this one. Going up in diameter and getting even a little more aggressive with the offset, we have this 2013 with some ESR SRO7s, 19 by nine and a half plus 22 with some Nanking tires, 235.35, and once again, sitting on some BC racing coilovers, which apparently are just a super popular choice for these cars. Fenders are both rolled and pulled to get this to fit. So if you're looking for something like this, we recommend starting off your search with an either an 18 or 19 inch diameter wheel, with right around an eight and a half up to a nine and a half inch width, and then a little bit lower offset, so something between like a plus 22 and a plus 30. And then to close out the day, we always like to end with some of the lowest and craziest setups that we see in the gallery for each vehicle that we cover. These cars have extensive modifications done to both the fenders and suspension to get these wheels to fit. But we always like to throw them in. There are just some of you out there who are looking to do something like this. And these can be some harder cars to find like the information on as far as wheel specs and all that sort of stuff. So first up, we have a 2012 with some MV Forged MTs. Now these are an 18 by nine plus 18 offset. For the tires, we have some Nanking 225.30s, and then the car is sitting on some D2 racing air suspension. Up next, we have a 2015 with some Weds Kranz Vishuno, Vishunu wheels, 19 by nine and a half plus 30 all around with a 235.35 tire, 
and then again on air, but this time with some airlift performance for the suspension choice. And then our last car of the day to close it out, we're gonna end with this 2016 with a pretty much perfect fender to lip fitment with some MRR VP3 wheels, 20 by 10 and a half plus 15 with a 225 35 tire. And then again, sitting on some D2 racing air suspension. So there you have it. Some good solid examples that are sitting in the Fitment Industries gallery right now over at fitmentindustries.com for the Toyota Camry. So don't forget if you didn't see anything that you really, really liked here, feel free to check it out for yourself. We got like over 200, almost 300 seventh generation Camry sitting in the gallery right now that you can go check out all the wheel specs, all the tire specs, any wheel specs, any tire specs, any of the suspension information, whether you know fenders are rolled, all that sort of stuff, all available for free, fitmentindustries.com, go check it out. And then of course, wheel size suspension, all that sort of good stuff over there as well. But I'm Gels from Fitment Industries. We'll see you later. Peace.